Now, this aquarium here, um, the owners work during the daytime, and this is an air-conditioned unit. So, therefore, um, the temperature that they're seeing the corals or the aquarium at um, tends to go up to about sort of 28 degrees. Now, 28 degrees is the maximum temperature that I want this aquarium to ever get to. But the problem is, this seeing this unit is usually air conditioned when the owners are home and the owners are usually home um, in the evening it's quite reasonable to believe that this aquarium is getting above 28 degrees when the house is shut up in the middle of the day and the owners are at work so it's really um, uh, important to be aware of what temperature do you think your tanks actually getting to now the other thing is that there is a small fan here but when I did arrive, the fan was facing forward. A fan facing forward will do basically nothing to cool the aquarium. So you need to tilt the fan down and the fan needs to be, um, um, let's say, agitating the surface in order to allow evaporative cooling. Other things that they could do is obviously add a chiller. A chiller would be the ultimate and best solution. And there is every chance that if adding a chiller that this aquarium will really fire. Um, whereas this has had the odd coral issue. Um, the other thing that can help too is by just going to your hardware store and just mounting a fan. If you mounted a fan there or clipped a fan on here, you've got a nice powerful fan that's going to blow across the surface. That's absolutely going to help because evaporative cooling is quite valuable. And the other thing that's going to help too is by trying to make sure that this cabinet is, is ve ventilated as possible. So whether that means opening the cabinet when you're going out or whether it means grabbing another couple of clip-on fans and clipping them onto the sump because um, having some good surface agitation via fans in the sump is going to help cool the tank as well. So the benefit of the, the fans in the room is that they're not expensive to run, they're not expensive to acquire and they are relatively effective. Basically the chiller is the ultimate answer but um, using evaporative cooling is definitely another option because you can't justify running your air conditioning all the time but taking steps to ensure that your tank does sit closer to 25 degrees is extremely important and the other thing that does concern me slightly is the amount of fluctuation this aquarium may get because if it is shut up in the middle of the day and the tank's getting to 30 degrees and then um, it cools off in the evening and then the air conditioning comes on that evening and the tank may easily drop to say 24 degrees which is quite a fair bit of fluctuation as far as a coral reef aquarium is concerned.